everyone, and welcome to AP Statistics. Um, today being the first day, I want to run through some of the policies, procedures with you, in addition to giving you what you need to know from the lesson. So if you go to Google Classroom, on the first top of that, in the AP Statistics Google Classroom, you'll see an assignment that says description of the first day assignments. We won't always have an assignment like this in Google Classroom. What you can do is you can look at the calendar that's linked in Google Classroom or linked on Mr. Sohovic's website. Okay, so do that right now and you can see that you'll see these same three things. So let's talk about the three things first and then we'll see how that compares to the calendar. So after today, you should have completed the two Desmos activities. One's called Smelling Parkinson's Disease and the other is called Skew the Script Lesson 1.1. And Skew the Script is going to be used a lot, almost every day, and that's going to be abbreviated as STS. And those two activities are linked under the Unit 1 tab in Google Classroom. Then you're going to begin working on the homework, which is a Math Excel assignment covering chapters 2 and 3 from your textbook. And that is going to be due Wednesday. One thing to note, when I put a due date for the Math Excel assignments, you can still earn full credit up to the test day, which in this case is planned to be December 3rd. And after that test day, any work you complete late after that will only earn you 75% credit back. And then if it's not done by the last day of the term, you know, there will be a time for that. I'll tell you when it has to be in by, you'll get zero credit after that point. If you're not sure how to get into Math Excel, there is a link under Class Materials with instructions and a link to the portal to get there. The third thing for today is to read and look over all the resources in Google Classroom under the Class Materials and Miscellaneous tabs. In particular, you should read through carefully the syllabus, make a note of the office hours for how to get help if you need it from your teacher, Look over the what to expect each day for class note and make sure you're capable of quickly getting your Google Meet and Desmos windows to show effectively on your screen to start each class period. So I made a little video of that called how to optimize the Meet and Desmos windows tutorial if you need help. Um, but so if you want to see a visual of what that means, make sure you click on that video. But basically it means you need two windows side by side, so one with Google Meet so you can see what I'm doing and what I'm demonstrating, and the other with Desmos so you're basically taking your notes on that activity program. It's an online program. All right, so here's the class materials tab. And again, you can explore this later on. Uh, there's my office hours. And one thing with office hours, if you need to, you know, ask a question, you can just email me and see if I'll set up a Google Meet during those office hours. It's probably best if you know ahead of time to email me ahead of time and set it up and schedule it, just in case I don't see the email. Or you can, you know, give me a call if I'm not answering my emails at that time, um, if it's during an office hour, and, and just say, hey, can I do a Google Meet right now to get some questions answered. Uh, but I'll try to stay on top of my email for that. There's a link to a formula sheet that we can use um, on tests and quizzes and on the AP test. A list of the objectives we're going to learn, the syllabus, the link to the calendar listing the assignments. So that one right there, I'm going to show you what that brings you to. And that's um, basically going to be where you see what you need to do each day. I'm not going to create a Google assignment at the top like I did for today. Um, you can also go, this is a link directly to notes from class, and I will be posting the notes basically from what I do on here and there. So the notes from this video will be posted there. There's a link if you're wondering, you know, should I take the AP exam? Will I get credit at the university I'm going to? This is a link that can help answer that. Um, we're going to be using AP Classroom, so there's a link to log into that. We're not doing that today, but eventually we will. Um, there's a registration form. I guess the syllabus is in there twice. And then, again, here's the link for that Math Excel online homework. So when you click on the calendar link, this is what it brings you to. And you can see here are the um, things that were on that list to do. So the two Desmos activities, Smelling Parkinson's and 
skew the script 1.1. The math Excel assignment, and if you click on it, it would bring it up and it would say it's due Wednesday. And then read the syllabus and look at all those Google um, resources. So every day, if, if you're gone or if you're wondering what we're going to do that day, click on the calendar link and this is where that will be. So if you do click the office hours, um, here are my office hours for this quarter. So. Um, definitely, you know, utilize that if need be. And again, email me ahead of time if possible to set that up. Otherwise, if I don't see my email and you need some help at the moment during an office hour, give me a call. And then here's just a few snippets from the syllabus. A couple big things I just want to highlight. Tests are a huge part of your grade, 65%. We'll probably have four unit tests in the first quarter here. Each unit test is broken down into parts, like maybe three to five parts. We'll have a final exam, and then the homework and classwork is 20%. As far as retaking, there are some retake options. Like I said, um, there are different topics on each test. So if, like, let's say there's I think there's five topics on the first test, okay? And then I think there might be four on the second unit test. Four of the topics from the entire quarter can be retaken once. To earn that, you'll have to make corrections on your original, maybe do some extra work. There's going to be a form in Google Classroom for you to do that. And then the retake score replaces the original score, better or worse. So you want to make sure you prepare for that. The form that I'm going to have has to be done at least one day in advance of the date to be retaken. So I have time to get a retake version ready and everything like that. Check over any corrections you made. And those all have to be done by the end of the term. Don't put them all off until the last week because that's too much. You're not going to do better. You're not going to have time to get it all in. But after... After the term ends, there are no more retakes. And the final cannot be retaken. And then make sure you're responsible about, you know, makeup work. Check the calendar. See what was done. Do it. If you have questions, email your teacher. Uh, definitely don't plagiarize or cheat. Discipline referrals will result along with zeros. Um, some other options to get extra help and to get some contact information there. You did get a textbook. For now, we're just going to be mainly using that textbook as a, as a resource. So if you need some extra help, definitely encourage to read through the chapter. But I'm not planning on assigning a lot. We might have a few problems to do out there once in a while, but mainly it's a resource. And then we're using Math Excel, and then all those skew the script comes from skewthescript.org, which is an online free curriculum that going to use to supplement our textbook and to supplement math Excel. Under the miscellaneous tab, you can see these two things, what to expect each day for class, and then this is that link I referred to, how to optimize meet and desmos windows. So basically what you should expect each day, you come to class at the online time, you open up the Google Meet link, which is in the top of Google Classroom should do that right away. So if you haven't already done that, do that. Class is going to start at 10.05. And then you follow my directions. Um, typically, it'll involve opening another link at the same time to a Desmos activity like the two we're going to do today. Make sure, again, you have your screen set up so you can see the presentation from me. Typically, I recommend spotlight mode so you don't have other people's faces on there, just um, you know my screen, basically. And then the Desmos screen. So you can follow along and take notes on that. Those um, Desmos activities are part of attendance. Not only do you have to be in the Google Meet, but you have to participate, and that's how I'm tracking that. So I'll be giving a presentation to the class from the Google Meet that corresponds to that lesson activity in Desmos. You should complete that along with me as directed. Don't work ahead. Um, I will prevent you from doing so by limiting which slides you can work on at that time. Um, and then I'll open additional slides as the lesson progresses. So if you got all the slides done, don't think you're done. 
I'm going to add more or open up more. And again, completion of those slide activities are required for attendance credit in addition to being present at the Google Meet. If you are absent, I will have a link for a video to watch and or um, review the notes if available that are linked in Google Classroom. And you should complete the Desmos activity that way by looking at the notes or, and or watching the videos that are present. Remember though, attendance to the Google Meet is not optional. If you miss the meet time, you will be marked absent and should clear that up with the attendance office to get it excused. If I am absent, then the instructions, hopefully, if I have them prepared, will be in Google Classroom and it'll pretty much be the same thing, but I'll probably be watching a video instead of visiting the Google Meet. Um, but you should still complete the Desmos activity and any other things required and the completion of that will um, will correspond to your attendance for that online class. Then there might be some additional activities. We might have a quiz or a test or a little group activity or task. And then any remaining time or your work time in the afternoons or evenings, you should work on completing anything above that you didn't get time to finish and I told you to finish. Um, and then work on the Math Excel assignment. If you have trouble completing the Math Excel homework, you're encouraged to first click Question Help and view an example, and it'll show you how a very similar problem is worked out. You could also review the corresponding chapter from our textbook, so like that for that first assignment, it's in chapters two and three. Um, remember, we'll, we're just using that textbook mostly as an additional resource. And if both of those fail, and maybe you even looked back at the notes from class and things like that, and you're still confused, Ask me, ask the teacher, or come to office hours. And if we have some work time in class, you can just hop right into the Google Meet and ask it that way. And then here again is how to optimize Meet and Desmos Windows. Oh, actually before that, these are just some general guidelines for the Google Meet session. So be considerate that this is a class, not a group chat. Be dressed and presentable and sit up, mute your mic, be aware of your background, no messes, funny backgrounds, etc. No eating, you can drink, but eating can be distracting to others. And keep the computer still and stay with the class. So then again, here's some instructions for how to optimize that. Basically, what your screen should look like is half of it should be Mr. Swahovic's screen over here, and the other half should be Desmos. So you can see them both at the same time and watch that video if you need help with that. Okay, so um, at this point, what I'm gonna have you do is go into Google Classroom, click on the smelling Parkinson's disease um, link under the unit one tab. And there are two links there for two short videos. They're very short. Watch those two videos and then come back and click on the link to the Desmos activities for smelling Parkinson's and complete that. And we'll be completing that kind of together as a class. And if this is an absent thing that you're watching this video for, um, check for notes to help you complete that activity. And then once we're done with that, we'll come back and we'll do the skew the script.